Hey guys, so this is just a follow-up video to the one I made a few years back on how to check and adjust timing on the Serial F250R. This time around we're actually going to be adjusting it. Um, step one is to remove the seat and uh, gas tank and get access to the cylinder head. Remove the two head cover bolts, the spark plug uh, cap. Then go to the right side of the bike, pull off the crank and uh, inspection cover. And there's a little tiny punch mark on that gear in there. And uh, that has to line up with the arrow on the outside case. So to do that, you get yourself a little hex and a ratchet, spin it till it lines up. And this is just putting the piston at top dead center on the compression stroke. Before you set the head, this has to be set properly. Then go to the left side of the bike. And this is possible to be 180 degrees out. Uh, so this side, look at the flywheel and you'll see not right here it's kind of hard to show but there's two little tick marks on the flywheel and those have to be visible it is possible to be 180 degrees out then go to the actual cam itself as you can see I have this purposely set wrong there's one tick mark I'm pointing to and its opposite is on the exact opposite side of the wheel and it's not visible right now then take the little uh, plug bolt off the back of the cam chain tensioner, get yourself a small flat screwdriver, shove it in there, you'll feel it engage and wind it clockwise to relieve tension all the way until it stops. It just kind of bottoms out and then clamp it with vice grips so it doesn't snap back under spring tension. And it should just kind of stay there. It may take a few tries, but it does work. Then remove the cam caps, both left and right. And be careful not to lose that little bearing retainer uh, clip thing there. They, they're not held in there with anything. And do the same thing on the left. Give it a little wiggle, and it should pop right off there. Now, to take the cam out, to to move it around on the chain, you slide that bearing off to the left, and if you kind of tilt it downwards, as you can see the chain just slides right off the sprocket there, and rotate it in the direction that it needs to move in order for those tick marks to line up with the top of the cylinder head. And again, this is keeping both intake cam lobes facing rearward. It has to be in this position. And then you just set it back in, slide the bearing back in, and, and then verify your work. As you can see, I didn't turn it enough. That one tick mark is still sitting too high on the rear side of the bike. You need to move it about another tooth the other way. So off it comes again. This is really kind of trial and error. It takes time. To wiggle it around. There, I just slid it one tooth, put the right bearing back in its spot, slide that one back into place. And as you can see, it's much better now. That right one on the screen is sitting a little higher, but the left one is now visible on the top of the cylinder head. Well, and that's the way you want it to be, because I'll explain why in a second. So next you reinstall the cam holders so that the cam doesn't flop around when you reapply chain tension. Then you go ahead and do relieve chain tension and that's going to rotate that whole entire cam to the rear which makes those lines line up perfectly with the top of the cylinder head. It's a little hard to see but uh, anyway guys that's pretty much it. That's all you really got to do. Um, it's not that big a job. And uh, any questions, let me know.